I've been teaching non-credit ESL for almost 30 years, so I know that our classes at CCSF change lives. Bringing together immigrants from all over the world and working together to improve English skills, prepare students for citizenship, vocational training, and transfer to academic programs are all pillars of what the U.S. represents, opportunity. However, last week, our CCSF administration and board of trustees approved a plan to cut 800 classes for the fall 2021 semester. This would mean laying off hundreds of faculty members. Currently, in my non-credit level 7-8 ESL class, I have a student named Pan Kayang from Myanmar. After discussing in our class what it would mean to lose 800 classes at CCSF, Pan wrote a letter which I would like to quote from. She writes, I'm Pan Ai Kiang from Myanmar, and I came to the U.S. in March 2020 and have been studying in ESL classes at City College of San Francisco at the John Adams campus since I arrived here. As a newcomer to the U.S., everything was difficult for me, especially language and culture. Coming to the U.S. from an underdeveloped country like Myanmar is not easy, and most of us cannot afford tuition fees for credit classes, so we rely on non-credit classes. If you cut the classes, it means that it also cuts our futures, our lives, and cuts benefits to the city and society as well. Please, I beg you to keep the classes since we have nowhere to go and study. I thank you and appreciate all the support and contributions you have made for immigrants like me. I ask our CCSF administration and board of trustees, where is the strategic plan for our recovery? What is the vision of the people proposing these cuts? Cutting 800 classes will not help us recover. It will do irreparable harm to our college. I ask you to do the right thing and use the funds we have been given to fully fund classes and programs at CCSF. 